Well, all right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting out here at the Mifflin County Sportsman's Association. Beautiful day for shooting, about 120,000 degrees. <laughs> But uh, I digress. So what are we doing out here today? Uh, besides waving off all the uh, little gnats that, uh, while you're sitting still behind a firing position. Uh, we are testing out this guy right here. This is the Primary Arms 5 Power Prism Scope with the Aurora ACSS reticle in it. Now, we're not, we're not talking about a whole bunch of details of it. Uh, I have bore sighted this. This rifle has never been fired. So this is gonna be fun. Um, so what are we gonna do? I am going to zero this rifle at 50 yards. They have an M series meter series that you can purchase. And I will tell you this right now, this is probably one of the most, this thing's awesome. And the reason it's awesome is because you have an adjustable diopter on the backside. Now, the cool thing about the adjustable diopter is if you have vision problems, you don't need corrective vision to see through this. So if you're shooting with shooting glasses, which I've brought mine today, I wish I had, you don't have to worry about looking over your your glasses, under your glasses, little things up here or that. So that's it. Now, let's just do a little description of this rifle. This is one of the production builds that I put together. And this is the mid-level. This has the uh, Ballistic Vantage mid, mi uh, military profile barrel, uh, the Yankee Hill uh, flash hider, which I think is the best. Uh, what else? BCM trigger system, nickel bore on, and basically uh, B5 mod, B, uh, what is it? B5 mod. But uh, whatever. <laughs> and what are we shooting? We're going to shoot uh, 77 grain. Uh, and these are from the guys over there at AAC. I bought these. Okay. This is running the Sierra Match King. I found that uh, their precision rounds through my sniper rifle are more uh, efficient or more accurate. You're getting a tighter grip than these guys right here. Doesn't matter to me. I just try to do what I can. And the reason why I'm going to use that is because at a 50 yard zero, it matches up perfect with the Aurora reticle, which is why we're doing that. So again, like I said, I bore sighted this thing. We're going to see how it reacts. But what I have to do before I shoot, because I forgot to bring my electronic ears, is I've got to put these little guys right here in. And I can't stand using these because they come loose in the middle of shooting. Uh, but anyhow, that's it. And we've got two magazines. We're going to zero it at 50 yards, then I've got a camera at 50, and then we're gonna take it out to 200 yards because a 50 and a 200 pretty much match up. And the reason I wanna take it out to 200 is I need to make sure that it's calibrated for that Aurora reticle. And after we do that, because I forgot to charge my little itty bitty cameras, we're gonna run out and we're gonna set some steel and we're gonna take it out to 600. And I'll put cameras from 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, maybe, well, 300, 400, 500, 600. There four cameras. So let's do this. I'm going to load these mags up. Now these, for the people out there in the land of YouTube, these are 20 round mags, okay, which is supposed to be legal. Now, the cool thing about this optic is that the adjustments up here on the, your windage and your elevation can be done with the tail end of a 5.56 round. So let's go ahead and load this up. And again, like I said, I'm gonna put these glasses on for the fun of it. I've never shot this rifle before. This is one of the, I built. And God, I love the clarity of that. The radical is just stupid. I'll take a picture and show it to you. So let's do this. All right, not bad. And just for shits and giggles, let's see if it cycled. All right, cool, cool, cool. All right, so what I'm gonna do, mm, and believe it or not, I'm so, I'm so stupid. I didn't bring any uh, lubricant out, so I had some 10W30 Mobile One high mileage <laughs> that I put in here. Okay, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna reverse engineer. We're gonna bring it down. I'm gonna see if I can hold it on. I doubt I can. I didn't bring my Caldwell clamp, but we will. So, ah, screw it, we'll do it like this. Put it on safe, how about that? And let's take it a little bit. To the left. All right, I don't know how much that worked, but let's see. And again, I love, wow, that trigger is very nice. That's the BCM nickel pull run. All right, bring that up a tad. Uh, if you wear glasses, you will have to use some glasses to see this thing. I'm not exactly what the, know what the values are. One, two, three. I think a half inch makes sense to me. 
But this rifle, man, this is a soft shooter. Wow, I got four of these. No, you can't have one of them. Okay, so that's 50 yards. Now the idea is to take this thing and go up to the 200 yards, which is, has a camera on it, and it should match up perfectly. I can't really see the impacts. And again, we're not bent shooting here. I'm not shooting for groups. I'm shooting for the matchup on the reticle. Now I can see some yellow. Looks like it's in the black. Okay. So the next step, ladies and gentlemen, is to set some steel out there and have some fun. Now the cool part about it, guys, I literally, I've got all my steel packed back up in my car, paint. I'm very excited about this stuff. We're getting back into it and loving it. So that's that. Let's get up there and see how it hit on the 200. If it did, it was successful. Then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna set some steel and let's see if we can ring some using that Aurora reticle on a 16 inch barrel, one and eight twists. One and eight twists is one of my favorites. I absolutely love that. Uh, and we'll see how it does. Here we go, stand by. All right, so I couldn't see where we were hitting. So evidently we gotta go one, two, three, four, four and a half, five inches up. We'll go ahead and check the values of each one of those clicks and make the adjustment. With that, we're gonna blindly set some steel and see what happens. Here we go, stand by. All right, because this is kind of like a go bag or a go gun, I wanted to use something that was a little bit more conducive to going. Okay, so where we got gonna be, let me see if I can set this up. Oh, there we go. Ha -ha. All right, let's go ahead. Load one 20 round magazine. There we go. All right, uh, camera's on the 300, so let's just go ahead. Just, so the top post on this thing is 300. Okay, I'll take that. <laughs> now the paint is fresh on that steel. Man, it's like I'm behind cover, right? So what happens is that the paint's gonna shatter off of it. It looks like broken glass. All right, so that's 300. Now I'm shooting at four, uh, this is a 10 inch target, okay? That's 400. I'd say she's working pretty good. My problem is I forget which targets I'm shooting at. So this is the 500 target up there. No wind today. God almighty. Okay, now I've got a little half epsic or quarter epsic target at five, 600. Ah, uh, and I'm breathing pretty good. I can't tell where I'm hitting. Oh, I know. All right, all right. Okay, okay. I don't know if that was a hit or not. Well, I hit something. <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen, that was a lot of fun. So, but the beauty behind this guy, right, is you can do this right here. Okay. I'm not bench shooting. Anyway, and a waste of ammo. Okay, well, let's see this. Man, it is hot out here. So anyway, that's the coolest part about this whole deal. Man, I'll tell you what. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna do a full blown tabletop review of this guy so you can see it up a little bit more closely, okay? Uh, I'm gonna put the little link to the campsite in the campsite down below if you're interested in this thing. I don't even know how much it costs but I'll have it on the campsite. But with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I'm, I am having the time of my life getting back into the shooting thing, back to my normal life. <laughs> and that's it. With that being said, we always end them like this. God bless America. God bless us men, women in uniform, 24-7 for our freedom. Freedom is not free. That 600 got a long way from me. And also, 
I'd like to thank the guys over there at Mobile One. High mileage, 10W30. Makes an excellent motor oil as well. <laughs> Something for your bulk carrier groups. KB32, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless his men, women, uniform, 24 7 for our freedoms. Freedom's not free. Man, oh man, oh man. What a great day. It's KB32, I'm out here. Boom! Wow.